Hello and welcome back. Now in a previous episode I showed you how to build your own Fusion template completely from scratch, although this is quite a specialised workflow. Wouldn't it be great if we could go somewhere where we could find pre-built templates that are suitable for our needs? The designers at MotionVFX.com have done just this. They produce templates for a range of NLEs, including DaVinci Resolve. Just browse through their catalogue for a series of professionally designed titles, generators, and other elements. And you can also try out one of the free packs, such as this one, mHelloDV. Once you've made your choice of product, you download the M installer and log in where you will see all of your purchase packs. This little application also handles all the downloading and installing of your templates, and you can install any of the packs you've bought on up to two devices at the same time. And once installed, it's easy to uninstall a pack if you ever need to use it on another system. So let's take a look at this free mHello DV pack, and it'll give us a taste of what to expect. Once installed, the Motion VFX packs are available in the effects library. Depending on the pack, you'll have some installed in transitions, titles, and effects. Just open the categories to view the available templates. And just like with all the usual titles, transitions, and effects in Resolve, you can scrub through these to preview them. Let's start with this title, which I'll just add to this empty timeline. To access the controls, I can just double click the title to open the inspector. Now the controls for Motion VFX usually follow the same format. At the top, there are these controls to turn off the build-in or out animations. There are also overall content controls, which means I can adjust the position of this entire graphic wherever I want, scale it and rotate it if needed. And like any of the other templates, double-clicking any of the controls names will reset the values to the default. Beneath the content controls, we start getting into the controls for the specific parts of the template. Each section usually has a checkbox so that you can enable or disable that particular element easily. I'll just disable this frame for now. Let's go back to the text controls where we can edit and format the title. I'll start by adding my own website address. Let's go with a nice clean font like Helvetica New. Below that, there are controls for the icon. At the moment, this is set to YouTube, but I can choose any of these presets like Snapchat or TikTok. But there's also a custom option where I can choose to load my own logo. Once the logo is loaded, I have controls over the size and position of it if I need to change them. Using the bar control, I'll adjust the bar width and position so it better fits the text. And finally, I'll re-enable the frame control and I'll just adjust the size and position and change the colour to match my logo. Changes which, on the whole, have added up to be a nice snappy graphic. Now many of the titles from Motion VFX follow a similar set of controls and can be customized beyond the obvious with a little bit of creative thinking. Like this template, for example, which has a drop zone for an avatar. I'll start off by adding my profile image to the drop zone. And there are controls that allow me to reposition the picture within the drop zone. Then I can use the main drop zone controls to resize the drop zone itself. Now let's change the text. I'll use the format controls to align this text to the left before using the position controls to move the text to the right of the drop zone. I'll just finesse the text slightly with a few changes to the position, the scale, and the line spacing. Then I can use the content controls to reposition the entire graphic into the lower left corner of the screen. And now I can start adding my own elements. So let's start off by turning the in and out animations off. This creates a nice still graphic. Then I'll move the graphic up to the track above. Now I'll use one of Resolve's default solid color generators 
and I'll place it below my title. Uh, let's change the background to a nice blue colour and I'll use the on-screen crop controls to resize it. I can now start treating this graphic as one element by turning it into a compound clip and adding one of Resolve's transitions to the start and end to give me a custom animated title. It's not bad, eh? Well, let's look at another fun example. Let's take a look at this title, for example. It's a good start, it looks quite classy, especially with that nice clean font. Let's keep the main title for now. I'll just delete this additional space that seems to have crept in here and add another line of text. And I'll change the header to something different. Let's use the content controls to move the whole thing up a little higher on the screen. Then in the timeline, I'll duplicate the title onto the track above by option dragging it. And in the copy, I'll just disable the main title and let's bring this remaining title down a little bit and let's change the text um, and play with the position slightly. That's looking good. Now in the timeline, I'll move both of the titles up to add one of the new generators available in Resolve 19.1. And I think this star field works pretty well. Of course, all of this is just using this free pack from Motion VFX, but let's take a look at one of their paid for versions, and this is one of my favorites. Let me start by installing the MTuber 3 pack. Now, I'm not going to show you everything that these plugins can do. Besides, the chaps at Motion VFX have done a wonderful job of producing their own videos for each of the packs. Just click this Watch Tutorial option to take you directly to those tutorials. Once the pack has been downloaded and installed, you can access it immediately in Resolve. And there in the titles is the new pack with all these additional categories. Let's start with this background. I'll start by disabling the opening and closing animations. And in the elements controls, there are controls over each of the different parts of this complex background. I'll start by turning off the dots and the ring to simplify things slightly. Next, I'll adjust the color of the corner graphic, which is simple enough. Although this large circle has a gradient applied, so to adjust the red part of the gradient, I'll select this option here and sample the same color that I applied to my corner graphic. I'll just adjust the gradient for the background too, smoothing it out a little bit by separating the controls. OK, so now let's add a title from the typography section. Now there are lots to choose from here, and I think this one looks like it might work. So let's place this over my background. I'll just change the overall size and position of the title using the content controls, and I'll adjust the color of the boxes in keeping with my background customizations. And I'll move this smaller subtitle text along and adjust its color so that it stands out better against the light background. Okay, so I'm sure that this is a very inspirational quote, though I'm not sure who this guy is that's credited with it. So let's add something a little more appropriate. Although, to be honest, I got this quote from the internet, so it's doubtful these words were ever spoken, least of all by Albert Einstein. But let's not let that fact get in the way of a good graphic. Back in the list of templates, there's a category called Call to Action, which contains these sorts of graphics, like this one, which you may well have seen me use on my videos on this very channel. Though I usually disable the avatar drop zone, make it a bit bigger, change the placement on screen, and of course change the font to match the styling for my channel. And as there are two text boxes, one for subscribe and one for subscribed, I need to just copy the font sizes so it's consistent across the text change. 
And that reminds me, if you're enjoying this video, why not give it a quick like? And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And let's take a look at the social media category. Here are some templates that you could easily use as lower thirds, similar to those available in the mHello DV templates we looked at. But you can also see that there's a 3D option for the logos, which gives a lovely 3D rendering of the YouTube logo. Now, while they look great, the real-time performance drops dramatically, which isn't surprising, of course. Although, if you are having trouble playing back in real time, you can always enable the render cache. Again, because these are complicated graphics, the render might not be as quick as you're used to, but once it's completed, you'll get a lovely, smooth 3D title. All the social media channels are also available as separate, standalone 3D graphics in their own right, including this option to make a 3D version of your own logo. All I need to do is edit it into the timeline and add my logo as before. I'll just tweak the scale and change the color to match the outline to give me a cool 3D logo. So there we are. Lots of customization options are available in these templates from Motion VFX. But the important thing is, all of the hard work has been done for us. There's no complicated setup, just a little bit of creative thinking on our part. Why not try with the free templates pack? And then you can expand your library with some of the paid for packs, and you can use the discount codes that you'll find in the description below. Thanks very much for watching, and until next time, take care.